that's the redirect. Well, I mean, look, there's the Rogue Rocket. I don't know if you can see that. Can can that is that showing on the screen? Hold on. Uh, I don't know what Rogue Rocket is. So you know for a fact, like you can prove that's DeFranco's company. Yes. Yes. Listen. Now, if you see, hold on. Let me. Uh, so if I go to RogueRocket.com, yeah, there's see, DeFranco. Right there, okay, right gotcha. there up top. I got it highlighted now. You should be able to see it on screen. That's Rogue Rocket right there in the uh, in the URL tab. So. Yep, I, mean, I do see just, it. And so that's that's if you go for if that's people can if you just go look to, at it through the here, here's the hold on let me let me copy but you get that if you go to betterhelp.com slash boogie yes interesting yes you do well I guess DeFranco has been I guess I've made DeFranco literally dozens of dollars at this point <laughs> yeah there's the link probably, I mean, you guys can uh, check it if you yep, want I, I mean. see it right there holy shit affiliate plus UTM so campaign. you're saying you didn't know anything about this like this is just no man I don't fucking ask questions like this, dude. Like I, 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 I the so whole can, reason I, the whole reason I work with a brand manager is so I don't have to ask questions like this. He's like, here's the deal. Here's the product. I try the product. If I like it, I do the deal. That's all so I wait, think about. Wait, that. Boogie, you, you don't, you don't ask questions like this, but I mean, you're, you're promoting a service for people that are depressed or have suicidal ideation. You don't right, think but I used, but right, I used it for six weeks before I recommended well, yeah, it. Yeah. But I mean that, that's the clever marketing technique that these people use. We get the influencer to say they use it, and then any criticism brought against the the application of the service is deflected away because I used it personally. But I mean, oh, this is, Medi you, this is Megator, right? Metacore? Well, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, me mediocre. <laughs> uh, but oh well, no. But hey, I mean, I like your videos, man. I so I, was, I flipped the fuck out when you got banned from like Twitter. And did you ever get Twitter back? Uh, nope, nope. It's lost forever. But you, I, I've but got you the did memory get banned from. You, but you got YouTube back, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm using Hal's channel right now. He's a great guy. Okay. He's a, he's a okay. good guy. Hey, well, I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad to see you back on YouTube. Yeah. But a I lot mean, of people, I, I think a lot of people think like, I hate you guys or something like that. Or no, I disagree with you guys a lot, but there's no fucking hating involved. And you guys are allowed to have whatever opinions you like. And I watch you guys for the same reason. I used to watch Lacey green back in her SJW days. I don't always agree with what you have to say. But, but I'm not just saying, I'm just saying. Shit, I, okay, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to compare you to Anita Sarkeesian. I would watch Anita oh, that, Sarkeesian. That, that's fantastic. I don't know if you agree with her. Let's get it. We're getting way off track. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just okay, anyway, to... sorry. I'm sorry. I just fangirled a little bit. I apologize. Go ahead. So, I mean, here's the thing I find weird. And maybe maybe that you're completely unaware of this. But if yeah. from what I'm seeing, this is it's got an eerie resemblance to something that's already happened once. I mean, you, you know, Josh has I talked about it. You talked about it a little bit with the AI stuff them taking yeah. information from people and then feeding it into uh, either an AI algorithm or some kind of a, a learning program or something like that, right. or using right. that for marketing purposes or something else offsite. I've already seen one group of YouTubers and influencers that had middling numbers to kind of high numbers, uh, which were the skeptics. You had uh, people with hundreds of thousands of subs working for a company called Candid, which directed all these people to use an app. And they were told it was you know free anonymous online speech. And then it turns out they're they're training an AI bot, and who's who's you know the company that ends up buying it? Well, it's it's Amazon, it's Twitch, and now look at the state of Twitch. So now you've got this this service, this site that's saying, hey, if you're depressed, hey, if you're screwed up, hey, if you're suicidal, hey, if things are really dark, come use our website. And then you find out that oh, you know, maybe not everybody's uh, you know licensed like they should be, or maybe we can sell your information to whoever we want. I mean. Imagine how crushing that is. If I'm a fan of Philip oh, yeah. Franco or you, no, trust me. Imagine how fucking crushing it is me, to me right now when it's my reputation on the line. Imagine how crushing it is to me when I've been talking about depression and anxiety my entire life, talking about therapy my entire life. And if this turns out to end up being miserable, this shit's gonna ruin. I, I'm not ruining me. I don't. I'll be fine. Like it's not gonna ruin my YouTube channel. Shit, the shit I've gone through this last year to ruin it. My channel is always gonna be around. But I'm not gonna be able to fucking sleep at night, dude. If I if I've misled my fucking audience. I'm just gonna fucking ruin me. Well, well yeah, but I mean, I, think, I think, think about the kid. Think about the kid that uses a service and then finds out, let's say, a month from now or two months from now, that the really screwed up shit in their life, you know, the abuse or the depression or the suicidal ideation, got sold to somebody that's training a fucking AI bot, or that these these personal conversations are just floating out there. And the other really weird thing is, I, I why did none of the influencers or the people that are involved in this look at the percentages and say, okay, something is clearly wrong here? Uh, Josh had mentioned that most people went for the two month package. That was the one that seemed to be the most attractive that balances out to about $350 up front. So sure. if I pay $350 for a service, but then the person that referred me is getting $200, that's 
That means the person giving the referral is getting the majority of the money, which obviously means the service itself is not what's generating profit right. for the company. Right, but uh, okay, but I mean, at, back in the day when I was selling, uh, think about it. They signed up for sixty dollars a week, right? I think that's what they said when I signed up. So sixty dollars a week. Um, and so that's two hundred forty dollars a month. So imagine I get paid two hundred dollars. They make a forty dollar profit in the first month. In a two month package, they double the amount of money. So they paid me two hundred dollars, so they made four hundred and eighty dollars. What, so what was the price of the two month? I thought you said it was like three fifty, wasn't it? It was sixty dollars a week. Sixty eight, I think. It, it okay. scales at the yeah. most. If you buy well, a single week, you pay like eighty dollars a week. If you buy an entire year, it's thirty five dollars per week. Okay. Well, I am on a monthly bill, and let me look up and tell you exactly what I'm getting monthly billed. There's a case to be built. I want to help you fucking build it. I got no problem with that. And if it means my fucking reputation on the line, if it means I get tore the fuck up because I sold this thing, then I don't give a shit because if, if it's a bad company, I want the bad well, company. Well, no, this, 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 sounds you know like, this sounds like DeFranco is fucking you, to be honest, with the, the weird his uh, uh, URL attached to your referral link. It's like a Ponzi scheme, right? Like he's getting the biggest pie yeah. on everybody. Am I am I off on that? Am I the only one looking at this? Like, okay, that's a little weird. Why would he con why oh, would he be related right. to these referral links? I had I had literally no clue about any of that stuff. So I that's a big surprise to me. Uh, fuck, I don't we, know how to find We even had we even had uh like Shane Dawson today came out and said he was gonna look into it. You know, I I don't see any evidence that he well, looked yeah, into Shane, it. Shane Dawson but it really seems like campaign on it, right? But isn't October 10th that's World Mental Health Day? So his big series comes out two weeks before World Mental Health Day, advertising better help. What bigger impact okay. do you have for your service than having that message most viewed by everybody? Yeah. So here, right when the hashtag comes up, yeah, I don't so know here. how much of this. I don't know how much of this I need to blur out, um, because I, I'm going to blur out my transaction ID. That seems correct. So hold on, I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to show you my bill. Or, I mean, I guess I don't have to. Sh if I don't have to show you my bill, if you trust me, it's two hundred sixty dollars a month. It's yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, month. so here, here is how it tears up. Uh, unlimited, eighty dollars a week if you pay, if you pay per week. Sixty five per week if you pay monthly, so that's two uh, sixty. Uh, unlimited, forty five per week if you pay every three months, and unlimited, thirty five dollars a week if you pay every year. So they basically charge you up front. So if you do the cheapest one, they charge you a thousand uh, eight hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. And a lot of people were unclear on this, which is why a lot of negative reviews specifically mentioned the billing because they're, you know, starving college students who click the $45 per week option and then they get billed yeah, for an inconceivable amount of money to them. Hey, yeah. I'm really sorry to do this, by the, by the way, real quick. Fire Resistant Podcast, thanks for the $100 donation. I really appreciate it. You're the realtor. I'm out in Dallas. It was a pleasure talking to you with you. I'm really sorry that I didn't get to say thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. That's one of the biggest donations I've ever gotten. So thank you so much. Um, that said... The, so, um, I, so you guys remember I used to like I used to sell um, affiliation for uh, for porn sites, right? I would get paid one hundred and fifty dollars for a free trial sign up. Back yeah, in but the day. Boogie, I mean, the difference is right. That's because sites, it's yeah, but the people, difference right? is they're 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 jacking off. They're getting the service they're paying for this. <laughs> right, but I'm saying, but I'm really saying that people, I know, but I'm just saying that's what I thought I was dealing with. I thought they're going to rebuild. So then the first month they pay me 200, then they bill that guy 260. They've made 60 hours profit. That guy bills a second month. Now that's another 260. They doubled their money. So that's what I thought. I thought it was. No, it's something yeah, really is weird. Yeah, no, I, I get you. But something's really weird with how the, the economics at this scale and the amount of a cut that the influencer is getting. Like I, it, the, the affiliate amount is just really kind of strikes me as odd. And the, the lack of data protection, real that, I, is that's that even legal? Here. Yeah, right. I mean, that's, no, that's really. So you would think the HIPAA would not nope. allow that. No, but they're not doctors. They're, that's they, how they're trying to get exactly. around it is by they're claiming that they're not well, medical professionals. Right. Well, the woman, saying, I, the, the woman I talk to has an MSW, which that's not a doctor. She's not right. a doctor. It's a master of it's a master of social work. What is it's a master's degree. Yeah, so none, none, of doctors, doctors. Doctors. none of them are doctors. Yeah. None of them. None of them are doctors. Not a, a, a but patient most relationship with you. Right, but yes. only psychiatrists are doctors. Psychologists are not. Exactly. You can get so, a degree in psychology. I've I've only ever worked with one psychiatrist in my whole life, and I've had wonderful therapy in my life. Right. So basically, the chick that they have that chills out, Katie Morton, she was on a stream with I guess his name was 
something Nash. Uh, I forget his first name. Jason Nash, I think is his name. And he called her a doctor and she refuted it immediately. She was, no, 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 I'm not a doctor. You can't say doctor because if she was a doctor, she couldn't tell anybody of the stuff you talked about. Now that she's not a doctor and none of these people are doctors, they can sell everything you've ever said to them. It's not confidential at all. And a lot, on the, uh, the actual list of the colleagues, all the people that are participating as therapists on the site, at the very bottom, there's a link to a Telemental Health Institute, which offers an uh, online therapist training program starting at $400. So tell, I don't know. Tell him about the psychics. I think he needs to hear about the psychics. That's really the oh, God. Uh, The marketer that contacted him is a part of creatorhealth.org, which is a very shady company that has no public information. And by pure coincidence, we managed to figure out that creatorhealth.org was owned by uh, influencerlogic.com. And uh, Joel Robinson, who was the CEO uh, of that, and he has specific ties ties to the uh, information or the infosec of of military groups. So it's all very strange and shady up there. But they also have ties to other kind of telehealth uh, organizations. In particular, one called FreeOnlineTherapy.com offers uh, online psychic readings as well. I mean, so, I I, I can ima- I can imagine. I, like I said, I, I mean, I, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your guys' videos breaking this down. But that said, and I'm obviously, I will, will not be advertising these guys until I know for sure. That said, that's fucking fascinating. Um, I imagine I whoever's that. whoever's angel investing this, they probably just don't personally give a shit. They just want to make money. It's a, so a company called Teladoc. Teladoc owns uh, Better Help, and Teladoc was an angel invested company from the mid 2000s that uh, basically lets you do phone doctor appointments to show problems without coming into the office. And they're currently worth about $233 million. And this was their branching out. I mean, if they have good intentions, I'm all for it. It doesn't sound like they've achieved those good intentions, but I will tell you that I had really good results. I mean, well, I, just, just as a, as a personal aside, uh, you can contact this woman and continue your therapy. If something were to happen to better help. Just yeah, that. so yeah, I, I can write her right now. I can, I can message her right now. I'm still paying for the service, so yeah, I can talk to her all. I, I guess the curious no, I mean, part you is can always email her wondering. outside of it. The part that I have I, is, I is how, how do you not know how many affiliates that you sold? So you said ten, you rounded up to ten, but and now you can't get to the panel. Like how you know how did you get? Well, that I don't have a panel. Point? I go through Seismic, so I just I get a check about two months afterwards. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go grab a check real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Who's Seismic? Seismic is, it's a company. Is a management company. Agency, yeah. But he had a number in the first place, I guess is what my point is. So you had some numbers and now you don't have the number. I don't know. It just seems a little. It's strange to me that, that I mean, he works for himself, but this, uh, these other people cut checks for him. Yo, yo, dude. Yo, he's being fucking robbed, dude. But you, oh, all, you, know, Andy, you, you all get robbed. Because... This this happens to every one of you guys. You get these fucking managers and agents that just bend you over and have well, a way with you guys. You know stopped, what these yeah, managers well, and agents I, I, are, right? If I stopped uh, <laughs> watching. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, I remember hey, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. So I, I, I just realized I shouldn't show this on stream. But um, so basically I get a check and then the check breaks down. And this is the July check and the July check shows up in showed up in September. So it's about two months back. And this is, I guess, July is the first month that I ran better help in the yep, in the the third week of yeah, the third week of of that month, about six weeks after I started the service. So um it just breaks down. Here's how much I made from NordVPN, here's how much I made from glasses, here's how much I made from Daily Harvest, uh, here's how much I made from Better Help. And there it shows three signups uh from 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 Better Help for that month. So I've right, I ran another one in August and I ran another one in September. And maybe one other one. I might I guess I know I didn't run anything in October yet. Um so let's say I averaged three per three per, that'd be three, six, nine. And that's what I think I did. Uh, did you do a dedicated video to this or was it just an advert that was in No, no, it's just no. it's just a sixty second shout out towards the end. I don't know. Sixty I, seconds. No, wait, no, hold on, still hold on. Though, still. Hold on, though. I, I think my numbers too are way smaller than yours, and I've yeah. I've gotten more than you did in I mean, 2017, two though. Two? I mean, I will tell you, no, I got no, a, like I got a hundred signups in the same month for NordVPN. I think it's just it's depression. Like NordVPN oh, is a service a lot of people need. Only a handful of people need depression services and mental health. You know what I'm saying? 
So By the I way, Boogie, the Boogie, but... your fans are trying to flag down our stream, man. You should, you should probably denounce oh, that. Oh, that's I, fucked I, up. Guys, don't fucking do that shit. Don't yeah. fucking flag. I, you guys know I encourage criticism of me. You guys fucking know that. I want people to make their videos. I want, I, I wasn't even mad about Lucy Fox, guys. You fucking know this shit, okay? Let people Boogie, say whatever the fuck they want to say about me, guys. I want to ask you, how much were you paid per sign up? Per 200. Referral? 200. Wait, I were you actually right paid 200? I told you. I told yeah, you. Right here. Yeah, they offered me 200. I, Josh, I saw the emails in the morning. I, I was playing it live on, on my live show, mm-hmm. and they offered me 200 bucks. Right. And then when I was paid, it was just 100 bucks. Well, I, I can I can show you the check right here. I got three signups. This is 200 pop. So. God, is everybody oh, getting this. robbed? Do you think? Like, is this company <laughs> robbing each side? <laughs> they run their hustle? Well, well, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I, I, I'm saying that's why I like the guys. That's why I like my brand manager over at Seismic. He gives me the best fucking deal every single fucking time. He is such, he's so good at his job. I love everything he does. Well, he doesn't stuff. sound so good. Look at what's <laughs> happening right now, Bookie. What are you talking about? Well, I, no, but I understand that. But this, this, if he, he did mean, steer me great. wrong here, number one, he didn't know any better. And yeah, number but look two, look at this shitstorm. It's his job look, to know better. What do you mean? Three and a half. But I'm saying I've worked with him for three and a half years. The first time anything like this has happened. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, it's you're, his getting job. Oh. you're getting involved by the seismic. Yeah, I'm, I'm just putting right, any Bitcoin stuff from yeah. Spectre.ai. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, go ahead. Because they're connected with. Oh uh, yeah, company. no, no. I, I'm just curious. It, it it really feels like, and I mean, it, it all the information is still coming out, but it really feels like. Not only are the people getting referred there and using it are, are getting hustled for their data and other stuff, but it feels like it almost feels like they're lying or false reporting the amount of affiliate signups per uh, individuals, right? I, I mean, it just feels like they're lying to the creators because it is hard for me to imagine you're only getting like three people. Uh, Especially with your audience. Here, here, I'm sure so many thing. people in your audience have depression. Here's what I'll say about my brand manager I trust them explicitly. I'm not um, saying yeah, they're they're I'm not saying they're going after you. I'm saying this no, company saying, is lying to you guys. I'm, right. I want to I'm saying I want you guys to know for a fact that if I don't want anybody thinking anything badly about my brand manager or the company he works for, they're fucking incredible. If if anybody's getting lied to, they're certainly on on that list of people getting lied to. They're not doing the lying, I guarantee goddamn too. Well, yeah, no, that's that's my that's my hunch. It feels like that uh, the influencers and their managers and their agents, it feels like everybody's getting lied to by this company, which makes me even more curious about what the hell's going on here. There's no way with your audience you're only getting three people. I refuse to believe that. They're they're lying to you. No that's way. just ridiculous. I think it's I think no it's way. just no a, I think it's just such a niche niche audience, man. I No, I mean, the boogie. I bet you if I were to do something like something like that right now, I get more than two or three, like definitely, even with my smaller audience. I, yeah. Especially, uh, I, I do. I do want to address something real quick. So somebody did ask if I did a dedicated video. Um, no, but I did do one of my videos talking about getting back into physical therapy, like getting back into therapy in the same room as somebody um, with m- the Mercy Network up and, and Rogers. And I did talk about getting back on medication. And then in that video, is the entire video was dedicated to my personal mental health. And then at the end of that video, I did mention that better help pushed oh, like, me in that direction. Video says, but, "Will I ever get remarried?" And then that one has the better help. Yeah, that's in it. that's the one I'm talking okay. about. Yeah, okay. so it, yeah, they, uh, I talked about Bookie, my do you personal know, talk. Do you, do you know in the emails? Because I, I saw Worski got this, and I have a feeling this is what they're doing with everybody. Uh, they try to dance around it and do this what they call soft touch marketing shit, where they're like, mm-hmm. "Oh, we don't want it to be a scene as just a." Um, um, uh, sponsored advert right so we want to help you integrate it into your personal story talking about your personal struggle did they approach you with that kind of uh an angle a kind of attack not not really i mean it is very common like so when when i do verve for example verve very much wants me to use their service they very much want me to watch the shows on the service and they want me to personally recommend a show that i personally enjoy Right. When I was working with Daily Harvest, Daily Harvest wanted me to find a food that they sold that I personally enjoyed and then be able to recommend a product I personally like. And so every company I've ever worked with always wants me to try the service, to use the service, to see if I like the service before we ever sell the service. And I always insist on doing that. And if a company has ever said, well, we just rather we would we we don't want to send you anything. Uh, We're not going to let you use the service. Then fuck you. I'm not going to not even consider it. So That's the true. closest, yeah, the closest, the closest they they said is you should sign up for the service, see what you think, 
And if you do like it, then you can have a personal story. But while so you were scrolling through your emails, I saw something said that it was titled explicitly in the emails, better help talking points. And I think that's what he's asking about. Oh yeah, no, I can show you that exactly. Okay, I'll bring that up right now. Um, this is my friend, Brad. So better help talking points. Sorry for the delay. Brought to you by betterhelp.com slash boogie. BetterHelp, if you didn't know, is a fantastic place where you can get affordable private online counseling. You get access to licensed, trained, experienced, accredited psychologists, marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, and board licensed professional counselors. All you got to do is go to betterhelp.com slash boogie. You fill out a questionnaire, they match you with a counselor, and you can start counseling today and really lean uh, into the affordability aspect. On top of their already fantastic pricing, they offer financial aid discounts. Uh, a personal antidote is recommended but not required. Uh, and then another talking point. So if this sounds interesting, you check out the URL down below. Uh, big note, if you're in crisis or someone you know is in danger, don't use the site. I will link to resources down below where you can get immediate help. And then that's that's basically, it's. and I will get something like this for every company that I ever work with. Like, here's a good example of, of you know, what we would like, um, but make it entirely yours, do it however you want. But this is this is the stuff we would love to see covered. And some of it I covered and some of it I didn't cover. Right. Uh, yeah, I'd say they would um, I'd change it depending on who they're asking. So if they're a bigger YouTuber, they would be le uh, more lenient on, oh, you don't have to talk about your personal story. For me, right. they were right. like, definitely talk about your personal story. By the way, here's a tweet that I just got. Uh, somebody checked Shane Dawson's BetterHelp link from his video, and guess what? It has the Rogue Rocket tag right there in the the uh, franco the is room. playing oh, everybody he is playing and this yeah. is a fucking ponzi scheme the franco's sitting at the top <laughs> this is amazing yeah, yeah well i had a story i had a story um i was thinking in the chat but there was um a defranco back in the day uh there were some gaming channels he had, he had some show called like like cubes or squares or something where he would have like six channels right and he would play it on his show and then people would vote for what they like um, uh, whose channel they like, uh, like the most. So it'd be like, like 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, and you'd vote at the end, right? And then he'd pick the best channels and then he would have them sign up. And one of my friends uh, from 3 Kilobytes was going to be signed up. And I read his contract, dude, and I was like, yo, this guy's robbing you. Like, he didn't sign it either. Like, it was like, we take 80% of your, of your YouTube revenue, but we'll promote you. I'm like, dude, don't sign this shit, man. Uh, so he's done this before, like, he's like the, you know, he's the top of the pyramid. He's a businessman, right? I think like he's a bad guy. He's just, you know, just well, making more money than anyone else. Doesn't mm. seem good. Just, just remember, and I'm sorry, but just remember that when better help really started to boom was, um, mid 2017, right at the time that the Franco elite happened and was funded. So just a point to throw out there. Okay, sorry, he's a bad guy. I'm reading the chat. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, no. Take what, it back. What, Fuck him. What, 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 Mimology, what did you say? Is, that this took off when? Uh, right at the time that the Franco Elite was funded in 2017. There's a GoFundMe, isn't it? Or a Patreon. So he got seed yeah, money, yeah. basically. Yeah, but, you, you know, remember that BetterHelp supposedly has been since open since 2013, but did it blew up on YouTube right at the time that patron elite from the Franco elite, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, was funded with over 7K at Wait, least. Could you, because, a, uh, yeah. could, you, could you do me a favor and say YouTube one more time? YouTube. So what? I'm sorry, I am discount I'm no, a pencil, no. as they say. No, no, you said it. no, you said so. it right. You said it right. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Basically, it seems Shane Dawson did this entire, you know, video. He's making this what series on Jake Paul, right? And the entire thing is about mental health. Yeah. And then he was shilling that chick, Katie Morton, was in there too. Yep. Who's, who's shilling on all these other people with uh, better help, yeah. and he's. I met. His, his, I, I met Katie. She was really. Of course really you she did. Yeah, of she's course really nice. you did. No, but like my video. Well, I met her E3. Watching, what do you mean? Of course but, I did. I'm just saying. I, I met her at E3. She was. Yeah, really it wasn't sweet. like yo. Know, it's pure scam, man. Like that. Why that is this like a, a that whole show that they're doing? At E3. Yeah, they're I'm not E3. Scary. Sorry, I meant VidCon. I went to VidCon and E3 this year. I got them confused. Okay. That's why. That's why it's so fucking dangerous for me to be on a show like this. Because when I get anxious, and of course I'm fucking anxious, I'm on, on here with Ralph. Ralph has called me every name in the goddamn fucking book at this point. 
So, um, you know, I, 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 well, I will at least he's not, at least he's not playing the sound clips. <laughs> 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 yeah, it would be a real shame if one of those sound clips suddenly was, went off. It, it would be terrible. <laughs> it would be terrible. Get him, get him hit that one clip that I already uh-huh. told him to play before Boogie left. Uh, can I, can I interject for a moment? Because uh, just out of curiosity, on the the Kiwi Farms thread, somebody very generously compiled a complete list of all the BetterHelp affiliate URLs that they could find, and one of them by. Uh, Allegra Shaw. Uh, I clicked it just to see what the URL would look like, and it says UTM campaign equals Influence Logic, which happens to be the company, the marketing campaign that contacted Andy Worski, and does not mention uh, the Rocket Company by Shane Donson anywhere. So that is definitely the top level referral. The the Influence Logic company is just another one of these top level uh, uh, refers from the Ponzi scheme that have trickled down to, in this case, Allegra Shaw. Yeah, this is more than that. More than that. I'll search it. What was the name? Allegra oh, Shaw. Uh, if you go to the forum thread and you just click links and open up the referral URLs, you'll be able to see in the URL bar um, UTM campaign equals influence logic in the uh, parameters. And that parameter will be probably the refer of the refer. All right. I'm going to check out some shit. Yeah. While you check that out, by the way, again, with the HIPAA laws. So HIPAA protection is specifically when it comes to PII or PHI in a medical facility or medical institution. And BetterHelp basically says that their providers and neither our employees nor our agents to represent. Oh, they're contractors. That's right. Yeah. yeah. They're, so they're, it's they're a work independent ar- contractors. So it's a workaround from the entire thing. They're not tied to anything. They don't have to protect any of your data. Everything you said is sold. Everything you've shared, your address, your, your what but, you do. Okay, but everything. so I have a question. Does the Discord do the same fucking thing? You know, Facebook does. You know, YouTube does. You know, there's that's why a man or a person refuses to come on Discord. Yeah, well, there's, there's you're a selling doctor. therapy, <laughs> though. It's not, it's yeah, not a it's social different. media site. It's, it's a therapist site. You know what I mean? Like, it's not your deepest, darkest secrets are being told to everyone. Yeah, yeah so like straight up. If you're, putting, if you're putting online, if you're putting on online in any fucking way, do not have any delusions that it's not feeding the oh, fucking. This, this, is cat- this, is. this is catastrophic, though. I mean, if they really are selling data, this is going to lead to suicides when people figure out that their darkest secrets are out there in some corporation's hands. Yeah, how do you think I feel right now? That's, I mean, again, if it's going to the AI, I don't even really give a shit about that at this point. But some of the stuff that I said in in confidence, I don't. I would not want a hacker to fucking get. That's terrifying. Oh, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, they, it could get oh, interesting, yeah. couldn't it? 90% I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I waited until I was on the phone with her to be to, to, to talk about like the really dark shit, you know. But that's recorded. Just, uh, just throwing this out there. I happen to be in machine learning, and I'm interested in buying information regarding depression from BetterHelp uh, regarding. <laughs> if you want to contact it, me. Josh. Yeah, um, sure. I am. I am in that industry. Josh is shilling again. Um, but no, even I'm pretty sure those calls are recorded. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I'm trying to remember where we did them, uh, it, it, but yeah, it, it, she could be easily recording it on her end. And I, you have to uh, app, correct? I don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember how. Yeah, if there's an interface I, or a UI yeah. in between you two, they have. You're right. It was care. probably. Hold on. I bet I figured out. Better help has an app that you can use to call them and to set up dates and everything. It's all recorded. Probably, everything is that's recorded. Probably what we did. Yeah, on the policy, guys. On the policy, it says that it can be used for marketing purposes and also for training purposes. But the training for who? If the persons, the counselors don't work for better health directly, who are they training? Well, the marketing especially, who, what are they gonna market to? Like if you're, if you're some crazy person that's got like some weird suicidal issue, like how is that gonna help you sell Nikes? There's something going on here that yeah. they're not being upfront because about. Because of the think- Facebook connection, they're training the, oh. the marketing tools on Facebook I to be able to shit. figure out when people are vulnerable to buying shit. Yo, so here's yo, I found some shit, dude. Okay. Wait, I, 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 I forgot to check. Joel has a different email at Influence Logic. I searched Influence Logic, and he's giving me all his info, um, all all the companies that he was using. And he even says this in one email. I, 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 hey guys, I hope all is well. Uh, Spectre has asked me to request that all YouTubers delete their ICO review videos. They just yeah, they probably got in trouble case. with the fucking feds for their bullshit. Okay, I I've gone back and I've looked at our phone sessions, and yes, the phone session was she called me through the site. So yes, that is how we did that. 
rip and pepperoni. <laughs> wow. Good luck, buddy. That's between wow. you, your therapist, God, and the Facebook data money. Well, then I'll, I'll, and I'll, everyone I'll, else has access to that. All the Russian hackers got that shit. I will just go ahead and admit to everything now. Let's, could I do it right live already? Fuck it. I mean, it out. Let me tell you the truth. I am a furry, and I like getting pegged. <laughs> Oh God! No. Wait, so that wasn't a joke. When you were talking about getting your asshole pegged just five minutes ago to that woman, you weren't. I mean, were... if she was, if she was down, why not? Like, I will do anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest oh, interview of all time. What yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What's your I'm persona? So My persona. I am an Uber Wolf. I'm Uber Wolf. That's gay. Come on, pick a better one. No, that is my persona. Uh -huh. God damn it! I've been Uber Wolf since I played EverQuest. I was a character. Uber. Oh my God! Look, Wait, I'm so are you serious? Yeah, I was Uber Wolf. I'm gay. I, I'm not gay, but I mean. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're going to work through this. We're going to work through this. Nothing wrong with being gay. You know I was gay. Even if I Would want you... to get fox fucked in my butthole, that's oh, nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. Are you sure? We're working through this together. This is this is the better er help now, and we're trying to get yeah. to the bottom of your issues. Are you sure you're not a Bro. repressed homosexual? I no, know. Boy, I, no. I, listen, it, I know how straight I am. I've kissed three dudes. Okay, I know how straight I am. I've tried. What? If what I could be gay, gay I would be gay. If I could be gay, I would be gay. But I can't. Well, I tried. Kiss why, dudes, why, 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 why would you kiss a, kiss a fourth? Well, the first guy. Okay. Well, I haven't had a fourth offer. The first guy I kissed um, was to explore. You know, it was in high school, and he's like, "Hey, how do you know you're gay? How do you know you're straight?" I'm like, "Cause I don't." I'm like, how do you know you're bi? He's like, because I, I tried both things. And he's like, would you like to try a dude? And I'm like, I guess, whatever. So I kissed a dude. And then I'm like, no, this is disgusting to me. I don't like the stubble in your face. And also, you know, your tits are bigger than any girls because you're like 400 pounds or whatever. He was a big guy. Um, and then so the next two times I kissed a guy was during Games of Gay Chicken, if you're familiar with that game. No, I'm not. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no